Well, hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Skateboarding California. This episode is going to be a review of some pro-designed knee pads, comparing them to other really good pads on the market. Now, these pads are actually not designed for skateboarding. These are their BMX pads, but they're still very similar to the skate pads. So that's why I thought I'd give these a try. Um, now, I will say right off the bat, um, they do have the same kind of padding as the skate pads. Let's take a quick look at the pro-designed website. And as you can see, uh, this thing is really, really outdated. I mean, it looks like a website from, you know, 15 years ago. But uh, don't judge their products based on their outdated website because they do make really fantastic knee pads and elbow pads and everything. So if you look in here on their knee pad section, these super single knee pads, the super singles are really the ones that I should be using for skateboarding. Uh, but I just, I didn't have a pair of these. And instead I have the BMX pads. And as you can see, the only real difference is the super singles don't have uh, the extra lame on the bottom and the bottom of the caps are kind of squared off. Whereas, the BMX pads are rounded on the bottom and there's the extra lame on the bottom. But uh, as you come through the site and look at it, you, you can see that you can customize pretty much everything. So you get to customize the colors and you get to customize the kind of canvas that you want the pads made from. So you have a lot of options in terms of what you can put together for pro design pads. By the way, I would also like to talk about pro-designed elbow pads and wrist guards. And the reason is because these are absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I wanted to do a review on the elbow pads and wrist guards, but then I realized that I really can't compare these to any other products because nothing else on the market even comes close to the quality of the elbow pads and the wrist guards. So these have a really thick foam core and they're just really oversized elbow pads. I mean, nobody, nobody on the market makes anything like them. So I highly recommend pro-designed elbow pads. And then if we take a look here at the wrist guards, these are also really exceptional and really kind of unique in the marketplace because they have a few features that a lot of other wrist guards don't have. Uh, for example, you'll notice that the plastic on the bottom of the wrist guard, most manufacturers just have a straight piece of plastic, but this one has this kind of spoon shape where it sort of flares out into your palm. So you know, if you hit your hands, that kind of spreads out the force of the impact a little bit more and really protects you extremely well. So like I said, instead of making a whole separate video on these things and reviewing them, I figured I would just throw it in with the knee pads and let you guys know that if you want wrist guards and elbow pads, just get pro designed. Don't even consider anything else. Let's give you an overview of how these pads are put together. Now, the pro design pads are made in the United States and everything that they do is all hand stitched and custom made. And that's just pretty cool because not any other pad does that really. And you can see right here, the stitching around the edge there is, it's really good. I mean, the way that these pads are put together is just really excellent. And you can see the stitching there on the bottom lame. Now, the top piece and that bottom piece which kind of articulate those are called lames and not all pads have those and it's really important to have a decent lame on your pads because that's what allows it to move with your body properly and as you can see the main padding there is kind of located right underneath the kneecap and between the top and bottom lame and you can see here as i bend it back and forth how well all of that articulates. So where did this whole lame 
thing come from? Well, that's actually a, a very old term. Kind of think of skate gear as medieval armor. Little history lesson for you. On medieval armor, the kneecap is called the poline, and the articulated parts above and below the knee are called the lame. So that's what that part is called on the knee pad. You've heard that phrase, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Well, don't try to reinvent the design of medieval armor. Just use better materials, right? So right here, we can, if we pull off the top strap, we can see the back straps, and you can see that they've got really nice stitching around the edges of the neoprene, which is great because that keeps the edges from fraying. And now if we look at the top back strap, one, one little criticism that I have here is that the Velcro should go all the way across, so that way as the straps stretch over time, they can still be tightened really well. Now right here, the bottom straps are a little unusual because you can see there's actually two of them. They got like these dual bottom straps, which nobody else really has, and then there's a bottom back strap. Now once you open up the inside, um, the foam padding on these is not removable. It is on most of, you know, the competing pads. So, you know, that's a little bit of a downside. It would be nice if the padding was removable. And then right here we can see, again, really great stitching, though, holding everything together. You know, it's really rugged, very durable. And I know from experience with my elbow pads, I mean, pro design stuff just lasts forever. Now that we can see the quality of how great these pads are put together, let's wear them and see how they feel. First thing I'll do is undo the top strap here and then undo these two bottom straps. And then once you get all three of those undone, then you have to open up the back straps and then I can finally put the pad on. So, you know, some people like to put on their pads when they're sitting. I prefer doing it while I'm standing. I just think it's a little easier. So first we put on the top back strap, then we put on the bottom. Then I swing the top strap around and attach that Velcro. And now we got to do the bottom two. So this is a little awkward because they do overlap. So you got to make sure you do the bottom one first and then you do the top one. And there you go. Now they're attached. And you can see here, because there's the lame on the top and the bottom, you know, they're, they're just, they're so nice. You know, the, the foam isn't like super thick, but we can see here with the seam at the top lame and the seam uh, for the bottom lame, they articulate really, really well. I mean, as I bend my knee, you can see here as I go back and forth from straightening my leg out to bending, the whole pad is articulating and moving with me just like a piece of armor should. Now that we got the knee pads on, let's ride around in them and see how they feel. And first we'll just kind of cruise around with them. Um, obviously they're freaking huge. They're some of the biggest knee pads I've ever seen, but they're super, super comfortable. Um, they're right up there with the uh, Protec pads. Doesn't matter if you're standing up or got your knees bent. Um, they're articulated very well with the padding on the top. And uh, that, uh, yeah, makes, doesn't really matter. Or if your knees are bent, if your knees are straight, they feel good really in any position. Let's do a little size comparison between all these different manufacturers' pads. So the ones on the far left, are ProTec drop-ins, and those are some of my absolute favorite knee pads of all time. I've worn these literally for about seven years, and we're talking skating pools at least once or twice a week, every week. Now that chip right there that came out of the cap, that happened like a month ago, okay? So that kind of gives you an idea of just how rugged and durable these pads are. It took that long. It took seven years of skating every week for that to happen. And now here we have the Pro Designed, which we're talking about in this review. And of course, <laughs> Pro Designed are so much bigger than everything else. It's it's almost comical. And right here uh, we have the newer Protex. These are the Protec Pro lines. 
And then next we have the 187 Killer Pads. These are their pro knee pads. And they actually don't have any articulation at the top. Well, they have a little bit of articulation at the top, but not quite as much as pro designed. And then finally we have S1 and the S1 pads are also their pro pads. I don't know why everybody calls their pads pro, but <laughs> they're all the pro knee pads. And uh, this gives you a good idea, you know, of how big all the pads are compared to one another. So everything that you see here is an extra large, except for pro designed, because pro designed, you actually get them sized custom for you when you order them. Let's see how they actually ride. And, uh, what they feel like when we're skating transition. So even though these things are so huge, you barely feel them because uh, they're really comfortable. And like I said at the beginning, these are actually not designed for skating. These are the BMX freestyle pads. Uh, the super singles are the ones that are actually designed for skateboarding, but these still work really great and are still fantastic to skate in. All right, I'm really sucking in this pool lately. I don't know why, but <laughs> not getting too high, but uh, yeah, they feel good. They definitely feel good. Let's compare the thickness of the padding on Pro Design to the competition. Now, this is a little difficult to do because <laughs> the Pro Design pads are the only ones where the foam inside is not removable. So, you know, you kind of just got to go by feel, and it feels like it's probably about an inch and a half thick, or maybe an inch. It's, it's probably, it's a little bit less, you know, than the multiple layers that we see here in the S1. It's probably a little thicker than this main layer that we see on the 187 pads, and might be comparable to the two layers that we see here on the Protex. So again, a little bit difficult to do a good comparison since I can't take it out, but still to see them all together kind of gives you a good idea of what the thickness of the padding is like from various manufacturers. All right, so let's test out the Pro-designed pads doing an actual knee slide, see what happens. My shoes are getting so shredded from doing these repeated knee slides. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I'm doing all these reviews in the same day. And uh, this is my last one. So hopefully my shoes will hold up. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just kidding. They're not that bad. Could probably replace the laces though. But this is not a review of shoe laces. This is a review of the Pro Design pads. So yeah, let's do a knee slide down the. Uh, deep end transition and we'll see how they feel. Granted the impact from a planned knee slide like this isn't necessarily as bad as an accidental one but it still gives you a good idea of how they feel. <laughs> uh, okay one thing I can say for certain compared to the other pads is holy cow <laughs> I don't know what the heck uh, I don't know what kind of plastic this is compared to the others, but oh my gosh, these things are fast. Uh, I get the feeling that, <laughs> that the plastic on these is gonna last a long time because, uh, wow. I mean, I could instantly tell the difference that, man. I was sliding at like Mach 10 coming off that transition compared to some of the other pads. Now again, these are the pads that I should be using for skating, and these are the pads that I am using. <laughs> and my theory as to why the knee slide was so fast is because the plastic kneecaps on the BMX pads are much more rounded, and I think that causes you to have less surface area contact so you're naturally going to slide faster than you would in more flattened out caps. And, uh, you know, it looks like... I mean, the pads really look... This one looks like I barely even uh, was on the plastic. 
And then this one, yeah, I mean, the plastic is, it just doesn't look quite as shredded as uh, it does with the other ones. So I think, I don't know what he's using, but I think it's a much harder plastic than, than some of the others. Now let's take a look at the Pro Design pads and see how they held up after those knee slides. And honestly, <laughs> uh, you can barely tell. They actually held up really, really well. Uh, there's a little bit of scuffing here. There's, you know, a little bit of dirt on the canvas there on that kind of black denim and a little bit on this one as well. But I mean, yeah, the scuffing is, is pretty minor and doesn't really show up all that much. I mean, you can barely tell that these things have uh, been through a knee slide. And if you compare that to my good old ProTech drop-ins, these have been through probably a hundred knee slides and they're still in you know, really great shape. I feel like the Pro Designs would definitely hold up over a long period of time and many years of, of riding. Here you see a little kind of ranking system that I came up with for all the pads that I'm reviewing. So basically everything is numbered from one through four and the higher the number, the better. So Pro Designed scores really high and you know, I really can't say enough good things about these pads. I mean, they're the only pads that are made in the United States, which is awesome. They are, <laughs> they're so huge and they're so oversized and yet they're one of the most comfortable pads simply because they're designed so well. I mean, really the only downside of the pro design pads is I feel like the top strap is maybe a little short and that's why I gave that the lowest uh, rating and I also gave them the lowest rating on the padding because compared to the others I think the pro design padding is the thinnest um, so you know I feel like really the padding is like the biggest issue if if pro designed had just a little more heavy-duty padding or some kind of special sort of padding like that um, 3DO foam that ProTech uses, I feel like these things would be vastly superior to everything else that's available. Pro Design has been building custom knee pads in Texas for over 30 years, and I really just cannot recommend these things enough. They're incredible, really fantastic knee pads. Well, thank you very much for checking out this episode of Skateboarding California this knee pad review and hopefully you now have a better idea of uh, you know the options and the brands that are out there and what might work best for you